Hello everyone, this is Harsh and you are watching WP World. In this video, we are going to learn how to connect database using SQLite. So without wasting time, let's get started. To use SQLite, we have to install one NuGet package. Let's install it. Go to Defenses and click on Manage NuGet Packages. Search for SQLite-net. Install this one. I will select this latest one. one it dot one one six or we can select from here also latest stable version click on install here you have to select ok click on ok so it will install all this dependent packages let it install meanwhile subscribe this channel because i am going to start python tutorial as well in this channel so if you want to learn python then subscribe this channel and wait for the python tutorial now installation is done you can see here all sqlite packages are installed successfully now here i will create one class we'll call it sqlite db okay so in the same way same function we will use whatever operation we have done for sql server same operation we will do for sqlite database so here i will make it as static public and now i will create constructor of this class okay here also we have to make it public make it static i will make a field sqlite connection to connect with sqlite we have to use this class import this namespace i will say connection this object i will create inside the constructor so here also we have to make it static because we can't have any field or method inside static class as non static so i will make it as static okay now here we have to pass the file path or database path so i will just say dot test dot db so it will create inside the debug folder our database even this db is not available in our application it will create this okay what is error here okay we have to remove this now i will create one method called save public void and then save to save our data to database here what we have to pass whatever we have passed in here same thing we will pass here okay and now here we will get the table connection dot create table okay and here we have to pass table name it will create table name as this one type of that object so our table name will be main window model now now we will call insert method to insert our data just take it and pass it here now our data will be saved make it static in the same way we will create method for update then delete delete so if you see we have insert and insert all method right so if you want to insert multiple item to the database in a single click then make use of insert all and here we have to pass list of our data so that it will save our list of data to our database in the same way we can update delete also we have the same thing see delete all it will delete all this thing now i will make one method for get details so here we will have get method okay so 
so what we have to pass here key means here i will do main window model dot id which is employee id so it will return this value so i will make it will return one object of type main window model so we can assign this here and we can what is the error here okay here we have to pass this class now we can return the value so return emp okay now we will call this method from our view model our view model we have all this command from where we can call so to get employee we have to use sqlite dv dot get details with id okay what is the issue here concurrent what int to main window view model y let's see okay here we have to pass just model okay in the same way we can register data to the sqlite database and we have the update also we can use update we'll use update for now i will remove this okay and for delete we will use delete okay now we don't have command for delete and update so i will create command for both update delete okay for update i will call this method for delete i will call this method and we have to create the command we'll move this here for update also we will create okay this is done now we will bind this to the our button i will say command binding and then this is for update so i will use this update command here in the same way i will do for delete let's run and see click on register successfully saved now let's see go to our project folder bin then debug and search for test.dev it is here right open it now if you see table name is main window model whatever we have specified here as a parameter main window model okay main window model now go to browse data data is not saved why it is not saved let's see this is the mistake i have called get detail method inside register here we have to use save now let's rerun now let's open our database and here if you go to browse data we can see the detail right in the same way all the operation we can perform here now i want to update 
two Kumar Hans. Now I will click on update. What is the error? Okay, here we have to make primary key. Employee ID as a primary key. So let's make it. I will go here. I will add annotation and import this namespace. Okay, now let's try. Let's add one more 3 and HK and this, this mail and register. Okay. Now I want to update this HK to KH. Okay. First, let's see the result. We have HK and this thing, right? Now let's update it. Let's see if it is updated or not. HK is there. KH is there, right? Now it is updated. Now other thing also we can do, delete. Now we want to delete, I want to delete this only. So I will click on delete. It should delete this KH1. Let's see, it is not deleted. Why it is not deleted? Let's see. Go to our project. And add the breakpoint and try to check. Delete is not calling. Why delete method is not calling? Let's see. Delete command is there. Go to UI and where is delete? Delete. Register cancel. Okay, this is the delete. Okay, we have to replace this. Delete. Okay. Now let's rerun it. I want to delete which one? 3. Okay, I will say 3 and click on delete. Now delete is called. Now let's see. Now if we refresh, we can see that data is not available now. Now I want to get this detail. So the employee ID is 2. So I will say 2 here and I will click on get details it should update right see here the data to Kumar this thing this thing and this thing okay I hope you learn how to connect SQLite database and how to perform CUD operation using SQLite if you found this video helpful let's share with your friends